Hello, everybody. Hello. So I think, as you know, uh, I just uh, left the Oval Office where President Trump signed a new executive order authorizing even more expanded sanctions against Iran. So now, uh, with, along with our existing sanctions authorities, we have additional sanctions to go after the Supreme Leader's office and lock up literally billions of dollars more of assets. Uh, along with that action today, we are also announcing specific actions targeting those responsible for recent activities. Uh, I think, as you know, previously we have sanctioned Soleimani for his behavior. Uh, along with that, today I am going to announce uh, three of his other senior leaders. Tank Siri, who is responsible for the Iranian regime's forces threatening to close the Strait of Hormuz. Uh, Haji Day, who is the commander of the Air Force uh, and responsible for downing the U.S. unmanned aircraft in international airspace. As long as Pakpur, who is responsible for IRGC's ground forces. Along with those, we are also designating five naval districts leaders, Kolam Shahi, Zirahi, Yolad Badin, Mansur Ravam Kar, and Ozam Mai. Uh, these sanctions are all very important for recent activities. The President has also uh, designate, instructed me that we will be designating Zarif later this week. So with that, I am happy to take a few questions. Mr. Secretary, the President indicated last week that he believed that the shoot down of the drone may have been a mistake that was made by local commanders on the ground. Taking together what you've announced today would seem to indicate that maybe this wasn't a mistake, that it was an intentional act that was known all the way up the chain of command. No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't read anything into that. Uh, again, many of these, the, the executive order that the President signed was in the works previously. Uh, these actions are people who have either made threats or specific things. And again, uh, I don't think you should interpret this anywhere otherwise, other than uh, we are designating people who we believe uh, were responsible for the chain of command, whether they knew it or not. Secretary, thank you so much for doing this briefing. What is your response to your critics who say these sanctions are more symbolic than substantive and they won't bring Iran to the negotiating table because Iran has said they're not coming back to the negotiating table after the president ripped up the deal? Well, I think the president was very clear. If they want to come back to the negotiating table, he's ready. If not, they won't. Uh, for people who say these are just symbolic, that's not the case at all. Uh, we've literally locked up tens and tens of billions of dollars. Uh, these sanctions will come along with additional entities where people are hiding money. So, no, these sanctions are highly effective. Mr. Secretary, we've seen, the attack, we've seen the attack on the oil tankers. We've seen the attack on the, the drone. What makes you think that these sanctions have been effective? What signs are there? Oh, well, there's no question. These sanctions have been very effective in cutting off funds going to the RRGC and other people. And uh, I, can, I can only presume, I'm not going to presume why they're doing things, but these are highly, highly effective on locking up the Iranian economy. And as the President said, we look forward to a time in releasing sanctions if they're willing to negotiate. When you talk about sanctions on the Supreme Leader, that is as high as you can go inside of Iran. Can you give us the thinking as to why the administration wanted to bring it up to that level? I think the president can clear maximum pressure on the sanctions. So that is that is our strategy. And it's not just him. It's, it's the leader's office, which encompasses a whole range of activities. Mr. Secretary, thank you. Have you done uh, the intelligence research to figure out what assets any of these individuals that you just named actually have in the United States or in the global financial system? That is, do any of these people have money or assets outside of Iran? So the answer is whenever we do sanctions, we do do intelligence. Uh, I can't comment on any of the specific intelligence, but again, I would say we follow the money and it's highly effective. Do any of these people have assets outside of Iran? Secretary, thank you. Is a military option or military reprisal still on the table? I obviously can't comment on that. I'm going to leave that to the President. Thank, thank you, Mr. Secretary. Have you consulted with America's allies regarding these sanctions, and is there buy-in from America's allies? Will they also be imposing sanctions similar to what the U.S. is I have not today? consulted on these specific sanctions. The answer is, in general, I've had many, many conversations with all our allies 
Uh, I was in Japan uh, 10 days ago meeting with the finance ministers and discussed our sanctions program. I'll be going to the G20 with the president. Again, this will continue to be a topic of discussion. Yeah, yeah Mr. Se uh, Mr. Secretary, if that's to me, uh, I'll go ahead. I'll give it to you. It wasn't, right, but then we'll you. I just, you said this is in response to events of and the recent events. Is that about the shooting down of the drone or the attack on the six tankers or both? Uh, again, what I said is some of these were in the works. Some of these are in addition. All of the above. What's the direct response? What's the direct Mr. response? Mr. What's the yes. direct response uh, to the drone? Okay, I this mean, you know, this is the president came close to military action. Now you're coming back with sanctions. I, it, what again, was direct I, response I, I, to I the said, shoot down the drone? Some of them. I'm not going to identify which ones are which. I've said that some of this was in the works. Some of this is a result of recent activities. Yeah, Secretary, uh, how, do, how do these sanctions deal? How do these sanctions relate to uh, President Trump's deal of the century? What's happening coming up in Bahrain? Uh, I look forward. I'm leaving for Bahrain in about an hour, so uh, I look forward to our discussion in Bahrain. Uh, we'll be rolling out the economic plan, which will be great opportunities for the people of Palestine. We have a terrific group there of finance ministers, uh, business leaders all around the world. I think we have about 350 people going, so I look forward to it. Thanks, sir. Uh, yeah, just following up on the earlier question, you, you talked about the sanctions are effective in terms of uh, inflicting pain on the economy. Uh, is, is there evidence yet, or will there be evidence, do you think, that having an effect on Iran's behavior. Well, let me first comment that our issue is not with the people of Iran. So I just want to be very clear. We are not looking at creating issues for the people of Iran. Having said that, we are have sanctions against bad behavior, and there's no question that locking this money up worked last time, and there's no question locking the money up works now. Thank you very much.